Welcome back to our preview of the 2024 NZB Karaka Yearling Sale. Windsor Park Stud has a long and storied history of producing elite racehorses and also standing stallions who have a huge influence on Group 1 results in Australia and New Zealand. Their latest sire, Circus Maximus, has his first yearlings on sale this year and they're receiving rave reviews from everyone who supported this exciting young sire. Roddy, a beautiful day here at Windsor Park Start and really gorgeous to be sort of right in the middle of summer but beautiful conditions for the young horses growing out and of course it's been a big year as always for Windsor Park with lots of on-track success. Yeah, we've had another good year um, with the racing team and breeding. Mustang Valley getting another Group 1 this year, so we've had a we've had a really nice year. Profundo and the spring champion, the favourite wins it easily. And it's a real coup, of course, you have a new stallion, which is always exciting for any star, the son of Deep Impact in Profondo. And of course, you're selling the first of the Circus Maximus yearlings, a triple Group 1 winning son of Galileo, who won the St James's Palace Stakes at Royal Ascot and returned the next year to take out the Queen Anne. So lots to really be looking forward to here at Windsor Park too. Yeah, it's been a, a very exciting season, especially, you know, with the purchase of Profondo. Um, in partnership with Mapperley Stud and um, Ben Kwok, um, you know, he's a beautiful horse, uh, got a great reception, I think he's got 150 odd mares in foal this season, so really exciting. And to have the first yearlings of Circus Maximus uh, going to the yearling sales, um, no, really, really exciting. It's such a good racehorse and beautiful pedigree, so they should sell well. Well, let's have a look at the first of the yearlings here at Windsor Park. This is by Circus Maximus, lot 349 from Risque Business, a filly whose dams are three-quarter sister to Star Satire. It's a family that just develops on and on, almost week to week. Yeah, we've had this family for a very long time. We're racing a very good filly at the moment called It's Business Time. She won five in a row and then was uh, ran second in the Copeland's Mile this year. So she's doing a great job by turning me loose. She's a quality filly in the mould of Circus Maximus, so, um, you know, very much like the sire. Um, yeah, they're very happy to go to the sales with them. Next lot 269 by Savabil from Nymph. Of course, we know Savabil, an eight time champion sire. And the dams by your own champion sire in Thorn Park. This is a full sister to a three time winner, AC Express, the SA Derby runner up, Savvy Oaks, a three quarter relation, and just a lovely filly. And you have the half sister too. Yes, so we got the, we raced the half sister, Nafeti, who won the other day, eating on an Oaks um, program. So she's very, very exciting. Um, but this blood's worked with this family really well already. So, you know, I think she's a, a very quality filly, very much a New Zealand style of filly. Um, once again, a family that we've had for a long time and we've bred a lot of good horses by, um, out of it. Lot 33 is a colt by Russian Camelot from Duchess of Windsor. Of course, the first crop of Camelot's Underwood Stakes and SA Derby winner. The dam's by Rip Van Winkle, a five-time winner herself. A lovely first foal and a really sensible sort of colt, this fellow. Yeah, he's a, he's a ripper. I was very fond of Camelot. Um, and then when Russian Camelot was racing in Australia, I really liked him and, you know, we looked serious at trying to purchase him. Uh, so I thought if I couldn't buy him, I should send him here <laughs> and I uh, couldn't be happy with the result. Next is lot 28 by your own Turn Me Loose from Drop the Beat. The dam's by Poisier, so he's assured of being a great broodmare sire. And it's only her first foal, but it's a great family you've had for a long time. And he's gorgeous, isn't he? He's just got so much pizzazz about him. Yeah, he's a, he's a little bit of a rock star, I think. But <laughs> uh, um, no, it's a, it's a pretty fast family. You know, we bred Wild Knight from the family at the moment, and he's a serious galloper. He's won six now, group winner. Um, and he's heading to the four-year-old million dollar race this year um, but he's, he's just a really good combination of his genetics um, so yeah quite an exciting horse. Lot 114 is a colt by Morris from Greatest Joy. This colt's dam is a full sister to the incredible eight-time Group 1 winner More Joyous and just the first foal. Yeah look I'm really really happy it's taken a long time to get it into this family. Um, I purchased the mare at the Magic Millions and she's you know she's a lovely lovely mare and, and a, a a close relation so it's 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 just great to have that family and I think she's done a huge job with this colt. Lot 328 is by Circus Maximus from Prove Your Worth. The colt's dam is a half sister to the dam of Tats Tiara winner Palazapan. Second dam Kiss from a Rose by Lonro won the Triske Stakes and is a three quarter sister to the great stallion influence in Northern Meteor and this guy's got lots of strength and scope about him. Yeah he's a lovely scopey sort of animal. You know Lonro is just such a great broodmare so I, I love going to buy those mares um, and we've had a lot of success with it so 
I think he's a, he's a quality colt, moves beautifully, um, and so really happy. And finally, lot 272, again by Circus Maximus from O oh Lovely. This colt is from the Love Trista, Love Tessa, the, the great eight carat family, of course, third damn Trista Love. It's just all there in this colt, isn't it? I think he's a real smasher. Um, it's a family uh, everyone loves, and time and time again, it just keeps coming up with good horses. So, you know, I think he won't let the family down, to be fair. He's, he's a good quality animal and a, and a good cult to take to sales. And there's such a buzz about racing in New Zealand at the moment, isn't there? I mean, there's, you know, an upside with more prize money and so much with Entain coming on board to really help the industry. But also, of course, the success rate of the horses in Australia, the Group 1 winners that we've seen from New Zealand, I guess it augurs really well for what should be a very strong Karaka 24. Oh, look, it's in my time in racing in New Zealand, it's the most exciting time. I think the Entain deal and the guys from Entain are, 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 are supporting racing massively. It's really shown through. The, the horses on the track in Australia, every year they do New Zealand proud, but in the last probably 18 months it's been huge. We're going to have some nice horses at the sales. Um, we always bet of above our uh, yeah. <laughs> punch out of our weight. So uh, look, I think there'll be some good buying at crack and I think it's an exciting time to be part of it.